What's up guys, Nick here, back with another video. Today is a big day, I'm going to settle the debate. What is better for the Mavic Mini range extenders? Is it the parabolic lens mirrors or the Yagi antennas? Let's find out. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, triple pane for this uh, video test. I have the uh, controller by itself without any assist on the top left. On the top right, I have the parabolic mirrors and then the Yagis are on the bottom. Uh, for this test, I'm going to go fly up to 400 feet and I'm going to point the drone in the same direction and see how far it flies out. Um, also, this test, you can kind of compare the uh, video quality coming back from the drone uh, so you can kind of see how the signal is able to make it back. So, so far everybody's looking pretty good. Don't really see um, too much uh, lag in the video. Maybe a little bit from the uh, controller. But the uh, Yagi's and the parabolic mirrors are still pretty strong. Went over 2,000 feet now, so you start to see uh, a little bit more signal loss from the uh, controller by itself. Excuse the map that I pull up. Uh, parabolic mirrors are still going pretty strong. The Yagis are also still looking pretty good at this point. Controllers definitely having a little bit more lag. Parabolic mirror also has a little bit. Uh, nothing really at all with the Yagis. Yeah, so you can see a pretty clear distinction between the two right now. Uh, there's definitely a bit of difference in the signal strength received in the uh, controllers and the, the controller by itself and the uh, parabolic mirrors. Um, the Yagi's had a couple frame drops, but really nothing, you know, too serious. The controller looks like it froze. So lost compass, lost the compass in the uh, controller, lost the compass in the parabolic mirrors. Uh, right at around, what was it, 4,500 I think, maybe 4,000. So lost video feed in the controller. The Yagi's still going pretty strong, still have the compass. Uh, not really too much video loss at all. The mirrors are definitely lagging a little bit at this point and starting to become a little bit difficult to fly. Controllers are also having obvious, pretty serious issues. So right around 6,000 feet. Looks like the Yagi just lost its uh, compass right at 6,000 feet. Obviously there's a lot of signal interference in this issue since it is a uh, city. So it looks like the uh, controller just got the uh, RC signal loss. And the video is totally frozen on that side. Uh, it looks like the distance is still going up though in the... Uh, the numbers are coming back pretty strong from that. Uh, I went ahead and hit cancel because I thought it would probably come back. Looks like it did a little bit. Parabolic mirrors, so I just lost the video feed on the parabolic mirrors. The Yagis are still looking pretty good. So I got my return to home transmission coming up on the mirrors. And I'm getting a uh, weak signal adjust antennas on the Yagi. So the uh, parabolic mirrors, um, totally lost signal return to home transmission so right now I really had a hard time getting uh, in connection with it I'm actually gonna um, return to home at this point uh, it looks like I lost video feed on all of them right now all right so right at 8,200 feet so 8,000 7,800 on the uh, mirrors 8,300 feet on the uh, controller no video feed on any of them right now um, so the return to home, it looks like it just made it from the uh, parabolic mirror, so that one is starting to come back now. Uh, the controller's still going a little bit. It's kind of surprising. The uh, the Yagi antennas um, still going at 9,400. Um, no video feed. But the uh, if you look at the um, distance meter, it's still showing up pretty strong so that tells me that there is some signal connection just for whatever reason the video feed is not coming back uh, it looks like the um, controller is now returning to home just got the uh, signal to finally reach it 
Um, so I'm going to also send the Yagi home at this point too. It's right at 10,000 feet. Hopefully the uh, signal gets there in a second. Okay, so the Yagi just got his video feed back at uh, 10,000 feet. Um, one thing I thought would be interesting, I know it's obviously not in the spirit of what this test is about, but I was a little curious now that I have the video feed reestablished, you know, can I push it back out and see what it can do? Um, so we're over 10,000 feet right now. I mean, this is the farthest I've ever gotten this drone out. It's pretty impressive what these antennas can do. 10,000 feet. I mean, the Yagi's signal basically looks like the controller and the mirrors looked like for, um, you know, the, the 6,000 foot mark. So uh, at this point, uh, since it's saying the batteries are low, I'm not really going to push it since I have so much water to fly back over. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back. Uh, definitely the farthest I've ever brought this drone out. It's pretty impressive what these uh, antennas can do, how much it really can boost the signal. Okay, so that was kind of a surprising result. I really didn't expect to get more range out of the uh, antennas by themselves than the uh, parabolic lens mirrors. Um, I know I've actually flown in that same direction uh, a little bit farther, so I'm going to say that that was probably a bit of an anomaly as to why I could only get to 70 800 feet I think is what it said. Uh, it was definitely impressive with the Yagi's actually making it out to 10,000 feet. Uh, I have never made it that far at all. Uh, it was weird though that the video feed was completely cut out and I was still able to continue to fly it. Um, if I had to take a guess it feels like I'm able to send more signal but it may not be strong enough to actually get the video feed still from the drone. I kind of wonder if that has anything to do with the uh, antennas actually in the drone sending the signal back. Uh, I don't know enough about how it works though to really say for sure. Um, one thing I have noticed with these uh, Yagi antennas though, um, compared to the parabolic lens mirrors, these are far more difficult to actually take off of your drone. Uh, I noticed somebody online had posted a picture of their antenna snapped uh, and I kind of wonder if they were using these uh, Yagi antennas. Uh, actually, that came off a lot easier than it did the first time. Maybe it's just... Yeah, I mean, it, you still have to pull on a little bit. Um, looks like it scratches them up just a little bit too. So, my conclusion is the Yagi's definitely add more signal than the parabolic lens mirrors or the uh, antennas by themselves. And that also takes into account previous experience using the parabolic lens mirrors and the uh, antennas by themselves. Um, but if I was in a quick pinch and I didn't necessarily need as much range, I probably would grab my uh, mirrors instead of the Yagi's just because I feel like it's a little bit less damage to uh, the actual antennas themselves. If you like this video and you made it this long, please do me a favor, hit the uh, thumbs up button. Let me know you like the video, helps out the channel. Thanks for watching.